Okay, so we're close to wrapping up the Direct Air Capture Summit 2023. In a moment, I'll be inviting Jan and Christoph back on stage for some very brief closing words. However, before we do that, we have one final video message to share with you today. And this person needs very little introduction. He's an innovator, he's a problem solver, he supports entrepreneurs, big thinkers, technology. There's not many opportunities for me to say this in my career, so I'm gonna get straight to it. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Gates. Hello everyone. I'm pleased to join you today to express my appreciation for the great work being done to scale up direct air capture. Direct air capture is the gold standard for carbon removal. I've worked with Climeworks for several years and I'm grateful to them for bringing together so many of the innovative companies and leading voices in this space to work on the industry's future. The work taking place in direct air capture is very important and very exciting. Innovation in this space has advanced beyond what I would have expected just a few years ago. At Breakthrough Energy, we're seeing a lot of advances in climate technology happening very quickly. Every day, the team at Breakthrough and I are learning from entrepreneurs and innovators about their solutions which eliminate emissions in every sector. We, of course, need massive deep decarbonization, but for the hardest to decarbonize areas, we also need a huge amount of carbon removal. We need this carbon removal to be done in a way that is monitored, reported, and verifiable. I'm optimistic that we'll get there. In the United States, uh, the government has committed billions in tax credits and investment uh, to support this industry. We're seeing entrepreneurs and established industry leaders coming together to build direct air capture hubs and grow new value chains. Communities will see the benefits of direct air capture, including the creation of new jobs at these hubs. But of course, the US uh, can't be in this alone. Uh, like all of this work, we need to scale up a whole new industry, and we need to do it with a deadline. Thankfully, the European Union uh, also is developing a strong carbon removal certification framework. And that's a crucial step forward uh, so that uh, we know for sure that the carbon's being eliminated on a near permanent basis. In the future, uh, we want to link together the compliance market like the emission trading system, uh, but this requires a lot of additional work. So I'm sure that Europe will build on its legacy of climate leadership by making a long-term commitment to grow direct air capture in Europe. So there's a lot to do uh, to continue innovating, scaling up, and driving down costs for direct air capture. I'm optimistic, and I thank everybody doing the work uh, that's represented at this, the summit. Uh, I'm confident in the future. Thank you. Brief closing remarks. A theme I heard throughout the day was the power of small steps. That's a theme I'm personally very fond of. Was it the right thing to build Orca two years ago? Or would have, been, would have been better to wait a couple of years and have 10x or 100x more capacity? Looking at what we got today, I can say it was the right thing for the whole industry to do it, to follow the puck, as, as Noah uh, said nicely before. Good news is, like Global Thermostat just started their plant, 1.5 announced they're starting their plant in, in, in 2025. Heirloom started a plant. And I'm sure all of those plants will create the same effect as, as we had with Orca and get this industry moving. And we heard this throughout the whole day, the power of small steps. In MRE, we heard it. We have to take the next steps. We heard it from the corporate buyers. It's important. 
well, obviously to think big, but not forget about the next step to take in, in order to get it going. We heard it from Noah Deitch, it's important to build the next project. And very impressively, also by Rich Lesser, like pointing to the difference between 15% and 13% learning rate, which essentially results in 2x different cost. And how do we get 13% learning rate to 15% learning rate through, as Howard Herzog nicely said, determination and effort? And that's what I'm taking away from this day. I have the impression this industry is starting to march in small steps, and that makes me very happy. And when I look back over the past 16 years, over a very large portion of that time, our main concern was something like, how can we get this amount of CO2, get through that tube to get that capacity out of our plant? How can we get that prototype to work? How can we get that material to work? And it was really about the very, very essentials. Today, we spoke about many things, as Christoph has just mentioned, about the real implementation. We even, if you, if you listen to the discussions here, some of them actually took totally for granted that direct air capture is something that works and that can be done. So we were not talking about, is that prototype actually working or things like that. We we're not showing, oh, this plant has captured the first ton of CO2 from the air, but we talked about community engagement. It will be a big topic. Uh, as we move forward and install large-scale infrastructure. We talked a lot about MRV. So to me, this is, this is really a sign that this industry we are in has reached a next level and a next stage. And another thing that I realized and learned today, the cost of direct air capture was always the big question mark. Where can we go? Can we get to these famous $100 per ton, or maybe 200 or maybe less than that? And today, what I found very interesting that the cost was always spoken about in the context with scale. And today, when we're speaking about very low numbers, we always spoke about those numbers together with the scale of gigatons. And that is, I think, also something that we, that we have learned. What we, have, what we are doing has to become cheap and affordable, but it has to be deployed at a massive scale as well. So those were my takeaways. Very finally, I learned today that DAC is like, uh, like blood, like O negative blood. So maybe that's something we can also take away. Thank you, all of you. Thank you very much. <laughs> OK, so that wraps up. You can stay on stage or sit down. It's entirely up to you. <laughs> but that wraps up our Direct Air Capture Summit for 2023. For those of you joining us online, thank you very much indeed for being here. Uh, our session now ends. For the rest of you, thank you all so much for your inputs today. And our networking apparel is now underway. Enjoy. <laughs>